Good morning and welcome back. It's Jennifer here at JP Smith and we're going to do a really short video on how to make this really simple tool that you're going to use to make paper beads. So you probably won't come here to this video unless you've been sent here. Um, but it's really simple to make but it needs to dry for at least 24 hours. So it's the kind of thing that you need to make ahead of time. So when we make paper beads, I'll be sending you back to this video in order to make them. So what you need for each tool, and you really only need one, you need two um, popsicle sticks. I actually have found these funny little things which are a bit shorter, so I'm going to try using them today. Um, and a bobby pin and a pair of pliers and some pegs, some nice um, strong ones preferably and some wood glue. This is just decanted from um, a big jar that I have. Um, so, uh, and, 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 um, a tooth pick. Now your glue might come in a tube or some other um, way, so you don't need to use this to dip, but I'm going to need that this to dip into my glue. So let's just get straight to this. Um, the first thing you do is the bobby pin is quite wide at the end and what we actually need is this part here that's not so wide. So we're going to get the pliers, I hope you can see this, um, and put it in to where we need it. I don't know where that went and I hope you can now see the bobby pin now does that. Um, I'm going to get the glue. Then put a nice big sludge down the middle. Probably a bit of overkill here, but you want more rather than less. Although when we pinch them, um, some will come out, and we don't really need a lot coming out. nice and I'm going to lay that this is where I've cut it so that's what I've got left and so I'm going to do half that on here and then I'm going to get some more glue and put it over it. We really need this to stick in hard and flat. And we're going to get the other one and put it on there. Matching them. And we're going to put the peg on there to hold them together. I may as well put both pegs on. And I'm going to leave that to dry till tomorrow. Hello, I'm back again. It's actually only been a couple of hours. You can see the sun has totally moved. But these are quite dry. So it really depends on what glue you use. I'm surprised at how dry these are. I think I'll still be very careful with them. But I think we can move to the next stage. You might need to leave them overnight. Um or you might have very quick drying glue. So basically we're going to wrap them. So you can wrap them very, very tightly in um, string or wire or even sticky tape or duct tape. Um, and then really you've got a functional tool that um, we will show you how to, what to do with in the next video. But I would like them to be a little bit prettier and more gentle on my hands. So I just happen to have some beading wire so I'm going to use that to bind them first and then I'm going to bind one of them in this lovely wool that I found at the bottom of my stash. So we're going to start with this one. I'm going to start by pu putting the pointy end of the wire between just so that I anchor it and it doesn't poke out later. And I'm, first wind is gentle. But I'm now going to really pull this tight. I don't think I need to go further than that. 
really we're just anchoring this before we decorate it I can actually see that that is split that wood is splitting which is not the end of the world we just had it there for structure that's a, another good reason another oh, good reason why we're wrapping it in wire snip off if you only go around a couple of times then you can come a little bit loose but I hopefully I've wound it enough times that it's just holding itself in there so I'm going to do use this one I'm going to wrap it in wool so we get out our glue again we really need this wood glue is fabulous it dries so strongly and I'm just going to use this glue to really shove some in the trap in the cracks it's probably a bit of overkill but some things that we make really need to be overkill if you want them to last for a long time I don't plan on making these again in a hurry put some more around there just a whole chunk in the middle one on the other side try and get some in the cracks and really you want lots around the top hope you can see that really well my morning sunshine has moved it was really quite lovely I'm putting lots on here this is all going to get hidden of course and I've got that crack in the wood there so I'm just filling all of that I'm actually going to go down further I might wrap the top first I don't need to get glue all over my hands today may as well start but not more anyway really and I am just going to wrap Um, we're now going to finish this off. I could, I could, if I feel it, there's still a bit of glue coming through, but that's fine. That'll just dry. I am now going to finish this off. Put some glue there. And doing a few rounds of that on there. Pegging it. I've put enough wool on there that the peg won't get glued on. And simply snipping the end. I'll do something, might do something more with it later. Oh, in fact, I could just do this. Hope you can see that. And there we go. I will now leave this to dry um, for 24 hours before I use it.